Try it yourself. Implementing sortable elements. In this try it yourself exercise, we'll implement sortable on a list and a table. There are two lists that are connected together, so you can sort from one list to the other. The purpose of the example is to provide some practical instances of using sortable elements along with handling sort events. The solution files are in the book's code listings archive. Look in the Hour 19 and Images folders. The HTML, JS, and CSS files here are named Hour 1905. When we load Hour 1905.html in a web browser, we see three columns. The first bit of interaction I want to show you here is that we can drag and drop these elements into the middle list. I'll bring over three. And what's especially cool is that you can actually reorder within the list, as you see I'm doing here. And then if you decide to bring them back to their original locations, that's fine. And again, you can reorder to your heart's content. The table that you see at right is also cool because you can use drag and drop effects to reorder the elements in that list. Now let's go to Aptana and see what's going on. In the HTML file, we see, somewhat surprisingly perhaps, no image references. So of course the thought is, where is the data coming from in this exercise? We're not seeing image references in the CSS, therefore, it all must be contained in the JavaScript file, our 1905.js, and that is true. I do want to bring you over to the CSS file for just a minute. Notice on line 13 that UI sortable helper classes are added to style elements while sorting. Back to the JS file, we have our ready function added, and on lines 1 through 15 we have an images array with image name and source locations and the build lists function. The build lists function uses the array to populate the elements in sorter1 and sort table. In line 19, we make sorter1 sortable and connect it to sorter2. On lines 20 through 23, we implement sortable on sorter2 and add the sort receive event handler. This event handler adds a pulsate effect on both the sender and receiver when an item is added to sorter2 from the other list. In lines 24 through 26, this code implements sortable on the sort table T body element. Notice that the sort axis is restricted to the Y direction. That makes sense because we're rearranging the order of rows in the table. Also, the sort update event handler is added that makes the sorting item pulsate when it has been moved to a new location. 